Hey guys, back again, just after a couple of weeks with a new video. Now, managed to get a couple of things in the mail today, actually, but um, I'll come back to that in just a second. I'm going to show you guys something that uh, is our, our uh, overhead, but uh, if I flick this on, can see we've started people on Facebook probably would have already seen a bit of this but started to build our wraparound screen which is a start a lot of mess and stuff here one of the projectors which we we're testing it out with but um, most of this is going to go into the sim the throttle over there MCP should be somewhere floating about I think it might be somewhere over there but anyway Bit of an update. And one second. And I'm back. I just needed to get a bit of a start on some of it with the um, the scissors because it's a little bit hard, but you can see we've got something here from open cockpits. I'm just gonna maybe I should give myself a bit more of a start, but um these are ones that I ordered a couple weeks ago. Oh, come on. I'm just going to sit this down while I uh, do that. If I sit him down. I really need to get a, uh, a tripod, I think. A tripod for... Uh, for my camera and stuff, considering. I think, I'm pretty sure that you can actually just get them, but I don't really know how that would all work. Maybe if I just destroy the box, that will work as well. Please hopefully don't mind the shake too much. Lots and lots of these things. Oh, here we go, guys. A flyer. Ah, stuff in a different language, in Spanish, I think. So I'm pretty sure that they're in Spain. Man, they have the they have like the Ipeco the the seats down here, which is pretty cool. There's the overhead. I built my own, but you know how it is. I just the packaging a touch more they're always I can remember it was a few years ago when I got my um, my uh, MCP from them and say to you Jesus these things are gonna be everywhere no I don't go on the floor something very well wrapped up should be, there should be two things in here. What I will do is I will, oh my god, I will unwrap some of these because this is going to take me forever to unwrap. Like, I'll at least get frustrated one or two times trying to open the bubble wrap and that. So I will get onto this and then I'll resume it once I've got it open. So in you one sec, guys. And we're back. <clears throat> so, got the... Uh, <laughs> the bubble wrap off as you can see and um, after a significant struggle lucky dipped a couple of cables and stuff out anyway here we are so this is their new FMC and it is really really nice like so I have their um, I have their old FMC I oh, use the is the bottom part of it as well um, I had the old FMC and like it, it was okay. It died. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I should say the screen in it died. It had like a PS1 screen on it, which died eventually. But um, yeah, it's um, it looks. I think it's the quality looks a lot better. I think the finish is a lot better. It's like it's a bit more detailed around. The screen looks a lot nicer as well. A um, couple of extra things like there's the brightness um, control on it, which is really nice. I don't know, it's a really good unit, especially for its price. Like, I'm 
very, very happy with what the open cockpits guys do. Um, especially considering that they, like, their, their service is quite good. Um, got picked up their, their uh, EFIS as well, which is really quite a nice unit. So it does, it doesn't include everything on it. Like you can see like how it doesn't include the, like the standard, um, if you like your uh, barometer and that stuff. Um, the, these are interchangeable as well. They send you like the, the weather one and whatever. Um, so really nice, again, really nice feeling unit too. Like it's quite, it doesn't seem like it's gonna like fall apart or anything like that. USB cable, like these are just both plug and play, which is nice. Um, got the CDU plug and play because <clears throat> putting all these like, all these letters and stuff in is just way too fiddly for me. So anyway, moving on. The GLB stuff came in. Here's old mate's card that he gives you, Jeremy. Doesn't really reply to emails, but what can you do? I bought one of these things, which is his like, internal cockpit, I don't know, some sort of like audio thing. I didn't really know what it was. I think it's like multiple headset type deal. Have to have a bit of a play with it. Mainly got it because I just kind of wondered what it was. And this panel, if I take this off, is the landing gear panel. Very, very nice. Nice enunciators uh, as well there. Nice little spot, very nice. Like it looks quite, well, it looks a lot better than the overhead that he sells. Uh, again, mine could be old. I was having a chat to him the other day and he was saying about how it, um, how he has changed, how he does do his manufacturing. Um, so that it, 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 like he does it like through some different machine. I don't really know, but, and here's the, um, here's the, the gear part of it as well, which I haven't played with yet, but it looks like it uses like a pull system, which is nice. I have to have a bit of a play with it because it's a bit hard to move around, but I'll be putting a video up in a couple of days, guys, um, having all this stuff put together and actually having a play with it. So that should only be a couple of days away and hopefully getting those screens all put together. I picked up the, um, the, the Fly Elise software the other day, pretty exy, but picked it up and um, hopefully it'll be good. I have a bit of a test with it. The Nic Nicola, I think the name is, really, really good, really helpful, because I've asked some dumb as shit questions and have answered without running me down. <laughs> anyway, uh, if anyone has got any questions about any of these, though, happy to answer now that I've actually got them or any like the open cockpit stuff or anything like that. So feel free to shoot me a message either on Reddit or on YouTube or whatever, so. Cool, thanks guys.